Hello and welcome to my Marvin 445 presentation to discuss a, my strengths and weaknesses of a four-party integrated negotiation that creates value for all parties. Uh, strengths number one, gathering information up front for the social context of the negotiation. Prior to the negotiation, I met with the other three parties to discuss who would be present in making the final decisions. We all discussed their concerns, needs, and wants. This helped clarify if we were headed toward an integrative deal or a distributive one. You can click on the speaker above and uh, you can hear some of the conversation in where the other players discuss some of their wants and needs. Um, by doing this, I realized that all four parties were committed to creating value through an integrated relationship, which is what I was looking for. Um, some of the additional value created in our integrative deal to make the pie larger. Um, in our agreed terms, we all agreed on a seven-year contract for live entertainment in the common space, which we all had anyway. We would just clear it out and bring in a venue for live entertainment, which would help the community, the um, residents of the um, Towers apartment complex, and also bring in new customers to see our facilities. Uh, in addition to the seven-year contract, or what was entailed in it was holiday specials that bring all products together as a package deal. That would be the donuts, the liquor store, the fine foods, a producer's market, and Vincent's Donuts. And also, the bigger thing was a joint venture, a joint venture for future developments like the Towers Market in different areas of the United States. Uh, my strength number two, which is probably the most important to me, uh, was my BATNA. My BATNA was my backup in case we couldn't come to an agreement that made sense for me. My BATNA was a con contractual agreement with the owner of the Towers building to move into a small storefront next to the Towers Market. Now, that deal was pending acceptance or denial of the Towers Market deal. Uh, fortunately for me and everyone else, I did not have to use my BATNA. Uh, one of my weaknesses. After going back and listening to the negotiation, I realized that I wasn't well prepared for a negotiation of four parties. This caused me to stumble my words kind of get anxious and not use the terms that I wanted to and actually lose focus. It also made me sound unprofessional and I felt as though I lost leverage in the discussion and was just kind of along for the ride agreeing and not agreeing to things that uh, was beneficial to me and also the group as well. You can click on the speaker above and you can hear some of the um, discussion, a small portion of it. And Finally, my weakest, weakness number two, I felt like as the smaller of the four companies that I didn't have as much leverage in the negotiation as I would have liked. Although it was an integrative deal and we all got a little of what we wanted plus the added value, I feel as though I may have equaled the playing field with the two larger companies, which was a liquor store and the Producci's Market, and got a little bit more. I could have done this by mentioning my bat in the preliminary meeting to create power equalization among me and the bigger parties. Being a small company, it's kind of hard to go up against the bigger parties. They, they tend to think they got more leverage sometimes, which was the case in this um, negotiation. You can click on the speaker above. Here's some of the um, conversation. Um, I felt as though mentioning it may have made them a little more reluctant to go against what I preferred in the agreement. This may or may not have helped me, but I may try it in the future. This concludes my presentation. Uh, going forward, I'm going to try to be more prepared, especially in uh, multiple party negotiations. And what I could recommend is always have your BATNA in place, a real live BATNA. And that will help you finalize an agreement that is in best in your best interest. Thank you and have a good evening.